so this next dish we're gonna do is very simple. It's only three to four ingredients. And I know a lot of people when they're cooking at home love just three or four ingredients. This time of year, squash, pumpkins, um, different types of gourds, they're very popular. A lot of people don't necessarily like them, but I really appreciate, especially coming from the north, uh, I really appreciate pumpkins and squashes. There's so many things you can do with them, and they're extremely versatile with different cooking mediums and different flavors. So today, we picked uh, a beautiful delicata squash. Delicata is an interesting squash because it looks almost like a zebra, but it has a real sweet flavor texture in the center, and it's very easy to work with. So we're gonna roast this, and you can see after it's roasted, uh, and before I roast it, I just put a little olive oil on it. You put it on a sheet pan, uh, and make sure you got a little aluminum foil on the sheet pan because otherwise it's a real pain in the neck to try to scrub that sheet pan afterwards. The good thing is after it's baked, you can just throw the aluminum foil away. So you wanna bake this, it'll start getting a little bit toasty on the outside, and you can see here how this looks, which is absolutely fine. And you wanna bake it long enough, maybe 40 minutes, about a 375 degree oven. And you should be able to take your knife and insert it into the center here so that it comes in very easy. You see how easy that is? Just goes in real nice and easy. That means the squash is cooked all the way through. When the squash is done cooking, we cut it in half like this. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull out the seeds. Now there's nothing wrong with toasting the seeds uh, which you can do like when we do pumpkins, uh, salt them, and you can eat those if you choose, although these seeds tend to be a little bit smaller than pumpkin seeds. Once that's done, you'll see this skin just peels away so easily, just like so. Or you can use the spoon, which I'll show you on the next one, and the spoon will peel the squash as well. So there's your squash right there. Make sure there's no seeds. And this is gonna go in with all the squash pureed, just like so. Now, as I mentioned before, we took the skin off, so we can do it a little bit differently. This skin is very, very thin, so unlike some squash skins, like a butternut or a pumpkin, which is a lot tougher to peel, this comes away very easily, just like so. And you can see the skin is intact, just like that. Okay, this will go into our container too with our squash. The next thing we're gonna do is we have a Vita mix, Vita prep machine here. Uh, if you don't have this, you could use a food processor. Uh, you don't have to have this particular brand, although this is probably one of the most powerful uh, blenders on the market. The other one that's very good also is a blend tech. So either one will do the job. Now, what I'm gonna do next is we're gonna take all of our squash and we're gonna put it in here. And one of the things I know in the low country we're all familiar with is some of the different spices that came in from the Caribbean. And one of the spice blends that we know so well is spices like nutmeg, ginger. But one of the ones I like working with, uh, and when we think of a dish called Country Captain, we think of that curry blend. What I have here is some homemade, um, what we call garam masala. It's a type of Indian curry blend. And uh, the best way to make your blends of any types of spices is you wanna toast your spices first in a dry pan, lightly toast them, that brings the oils out in the spices and really gives a nice aroma uh, to the spice as well as good flavor. So we're gonna add some of this in and you're gonna manage this or control this based on your own particular taste and flavor. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper mix here. And then, to kind of balance everything out, we're gonna add some coconut milk. This is unsweetened coconut milk. And now, depending on whether or not you are a vegetarian or a vegan, I would use vegetarian stock in here or a vegetable stock. Uh, you can purchase those in the store or make your own. Uh, you can also make a chicken stock or chicken broth 
And again, you can purchase that uh, on the shelves in the supermarket. There's a lot of really good brands out there now and a lot of low sodium. So that would be the liquid we're putting in here. Again, you have that curry flavor, you have the coconut flavor, and the next thing we're gonna add is some chicken broth. So we have our nice chicken broth out of the refrigerator. And we're gonna add this in as well. There we go. Now this machine will literally heat your soup, uh, but you can also, when we're done pureeing everything, put it on the stove and heat it up that way. So we wanna make sure that the lid is tightly fit on the top. We're gonna to turn this on and we wanna make sure it has both a variable and a high speed. We start with variable speed here and we work our way up. We could add more coconut or stock. Want to take the lid off? Okay, there we go. Gonna add a little more stock to this. There we go. All right. And this will blend up, it'll keep blending. This will keep blending until it actually builds enough friction to get hot. We're gonna taste this first. And you can see here how thick this is already. We're gonna try this out. You could taste the spices. Want a little bit more coconut milk in here. A Little bit more salt and pepper. And then what we're gonna do, once this starts rolling, we're gonna finish with some whole butter. And we're gonna put this on high. We'll start this on low. And this will begin to start to add friction and heat the soup. At this point, we're going to add some whole butter. You can see here, this has a beautiful consistency. This would uh, make your soup, because the squash is warm or hot coming out of the oven, this will already be hot. Uh, if not, like I mentioned, you can do this on the range or you can finish it in the blender. So now we're ready with our beautiful soup. And you can see that's creamy, real flavorful. And then we're gonna garnish that with some fresh grated coconut. and a little wedge of our squash. And we're good to go. Bon appetit.